Hey guys, how's it going? Okay, I got a decision to make. Here's the situation. My ex-wife has um, let it be known, as I think I mentioned in a previous video, that um, she's going to try to sell the condo that I own half of. And when she does, she's going to get a new place, obviously. And that will mean that she is not going to want me in the new place. I'm not going to be able to uh, visit my children in her place. And although that's not ideal, um, I understand, you know, I can, I can see her point. Um, it's her place. She doesn't want me hanging out with the kids there. Okay, I get that. But what that means for me is somehow I got to figure out how to visit my kids. Um, and, you know, I could take them to the mall and I could uh, hang out at the library. But long term, that's going to get old very quickly. And I can't really see doing that like on a regular basis. Uh, maybe once or twice a month I can do that, but not every time, that's for sure. I mean, I see them right now five days a week. Um, so it ain't going to work. So what I, what I realize is... Um, I have a couple options. I can move, buy a new van, not a new van, a new van to me, and uh, build it in a way so that we have lots of space inside. And, you know, one of us can sit on the bed. I can um, use my camping chair for one of us to sit on. And I can uh, get um, like a folding chair or something for the other person to sit on. And then I can get a little portable table and we can play games and hang out and, uh, you know, maybe watch a movie on a laptop or something or a tablet that they have or something like that. So, in a sense, this is a, a big challenge for me because, you know, I intended to be in this Transit Connect for quite a while, like at least five years. And now that I have new information, a new situation developing... Uh, it's looking like that that may not be possible. Um, you know, there's nothing more important than seeing my kids. So, um, uh, I'm going to have to make sure that I'm able to do that. Now, one idea I thought of is that I can get, um, I can buy a minivan, like a cheap one, for like a thousand bucks. And, uh park it on the side of the row when I'm not using it and um, when I go to see my kids I, I can just pick them up in the minivan and uh, we'll have enough space in the back where we can hang out and um, have some seating in there. Ideally it would be one of those Chryslers that have the stow-and-go stow seating that uh, tucks into the floor because that way I can take the seats down and out as needed. The other advantage is, is that I could have a seat for my daughter to sit on while we drive around because in BC it's illegal for children under 10 to sit in the front seat. So that's an option, getting a minivan and just keeping my Connect to live in and using the minivan to visit the kids and to drive them places. Um, Another option would be to buy a full-size van, like a cargo van, and start all over again, converting another van, and building it in a way that there's enough space uh, that we can all be in there comfortably. Um, and that has some attractive options. I mean, I'm not paying $100 a month for, for insurance plus maintenance of a second vehicle. Plus, having a second vehicle actually creates stress, you know, because you're... I can park it somewhere, but then I was worried about someone breaking into it. You're, you don't might not see it for a, a long time, or like five days or a week or whatever. And then you don't really... can't really keep tabs on what's going on with it. And, you know, this is an investment, so... Um, I don't know that that's an ideal situation. Now the um, 
benefit of the minivan is that I don't have to do anything to it. I can just make sure that it has seats that are usable or take all the seats out and um, put in some uh, comfortable seating for us. That would work. Uh, that would be uh, really comfortable. But aside from that, I mean, I could put a make sure I have a heat source like a buddy heater and just keep it in there and make sure the windows are cracked while we're in there for heat and stuff like that. But I wouldn't insulate it. Um, we're never going to be there for more than four hours at a time, really, at the maximum. So, um, so that way the minivan is a plus because you don't have to, uh, it's not a huge investment of time. It's not a huge investment of money. Um, plus I can drive them around in it. Um, so we'll see. Anyways, guys, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a good night.